for helping you pull off, as I said, some last minute April Fool's Day pranks. We're always up for a harmless gag, something that will bring on a good laugh without causing too much distress. In fact, our Studio 5 staff spotted this hilarious prank that one mom pulled on her kids pretending to get a letter from the principal complaining about the kids passing gas loudly or napping in the hallways. Both the mom and the kids thought it was pretty darn funny. That's clever. I have to say an official certificate from the school nonetheless. Well, we have some similar tricks up our sleeve that you can easily pull off at home before tomorrow. All you need is some family photos and a pair of scissors. Photographer Whitney Robbins is here to share some of her favorite picture pranks. Good to see you. Good to be here. Are you a prankster? Oh yes, that's my favorite holiday. <laughs> Your, I'm sorry, what? It's, it's your my favorite. Forget Christmas. Forget Easter, you're going for April Fool's yes, Day. Yes, I plan all year <laughs> for April Fool's Day. I love it. So how does your family react to your pranks? They're good sports. We have like an understanding of like nothing too crazy, yeah. but then they're also a little more cautious around me on April Fool's Day. Yeah, I mean, they're very cautious. They're gearing up knowing mom's got yes. something coming. Yes. Well, today you're helping us adjust just small tweaks that we can make yeah. to photos around the house that will lead to kind of that fun effect, yeah. right? Yep, yep, it's great. We, um, so my first one I, I do is, um, we kind of like a running joke in my family, like my, my siblings and I, we like to put faces on people's pictures. Okay. And so lately we've been in a Nicolas Cage um, <laughs> kind of, <laughs> You know, face. Now, why, why Nicky Cage? Why are we why are we using him as our punchline? I don't know. It just started with like all of the memes and like I'm gonna steal <laughs> a Declaration of Independence and then sometimes we'll use Tobey Maguire. So you know, just okay. kind of whoever you're going with. So pick your celebrity, but he's showing up all over. Yes. Yeah. So I will just print out some pictures of his face and then use blue tacky. And I just get blue tacky. It's it's meant for hanging posters, but I just get it at the Dollar Tree. Uh -huh. You use that to stick it to the back of. The picture, and yep. then you just stick it to. And suddenly, their face, Nicholas like, Cage. You're my married sister in law Cage. is now married to Nicholas Cage. Congra what's your name? <laughs> That's Olivia. Congratulations, Olivia. <laughs> I hope you and Nicholas Cage are very happy together. And really, the punchline does become who you choose, right? It could be exactly. a running joke or a favorite celebrity or yeah. someone you've had a celebrity crush on for many yeah. years, whatever. And this has the potential to be like a drawn out prank, depending on how many faces you do, <laughs> how observant your family is, if you want to go like crazy do a group picture with a small, small picture of uh -huh. Nicolas Cage and it will take them months to find it. So this could be an extended yes. opportunity. Yes. All right, you also add GIFs to the faces. Yeah, so in like this one right here, yeah. um, I just pull up Instagram and I take a picture of it in my stories. I'm not gonna post it to stories, but I just use it so that way I have the GIFs. Uh -huh. And then I am able to go ahead and you know, stick anything that I want on this picture. Okay, so in this case, in this case, I have a whole bunch of like animals, uh, and I think my little brother is um, uh, Ron Swanson, <laughs> and you know, just fun stuff. Oh my gosh, look at the mini Ron right there in the front from Parks and Rex, and the dog. Yeah. I mean, oh, the dog's the dog. No, there's no dog. Oh, there's it's, no dog. Yeah, see, oh. it's, it's very believable. And then you just print it out. <laughs> I didn't want to insult the case. <laughs> I mean, Ron Swanson we can make fun of. So you print that out, put that on top of the photo. Yep, yep, and okay. make sure you just make sure it's the right size. So when you have gifts, if you save it to your camera roll, it will save as a movie, because most of the time they're moving. Yeah. But if you screenshot it, then you can save it as a picture. Just throw it up in a Google Doc to make sure you have the right size and print it on computer See, paper. So simple and yeah. easy, as it should be, yeah. but it gets the laughs. All right, googly eyes, also a good tool, oh, a good yes. trick. Yes, my, my little ones love this one. I just give them a bunch of googly eyes with the blue tacky on it and just let them go crazy and they go all over the house. And with Hilarious. different size of googly eyes, you can like, same kind of a deal. If it's a smaller one, they're less likely to be seen. If you want to do big ones, it's it's, it's, you I mean, who doesn't love Google guys? They're just silly. <laughs> I mean, on formal photos, especially like a wedding photo, yeah. it just, it is, it's, it's hilarious. All right, let's take it outside. You have a fun way to make it look like kids are hanging off the side of the car? Yes, so my five-year-old was very, very enthusiastic about this one. I took a picture of him from the vantage point of the driver's side mirror okay. and had him hanging off. And then I, I took the picture and put it into an app called InShot. InShot. Mm -hmm. And so you can remove the background. So all that's left is just his body and then the car. Oh my gosh, I see where this is going. And then once you've got that, you do a mirror image edit of it just so 
you know, it's going to be on a mirror. Uh-huh. You just trim it up to how it's going to be on the mirror. And, and you give someone a heart attack. Yep. My <laughs> husband thought, I, he's already got this done to him, so he was riding around with, with my kids on there on his mirror for a while, and he thought it was hilarious. And I mean, clearly, if you were to look close, it's the cutout. It's a, yeah. it's a photo cutout, but you're not looking close. You're just no. doing a quick check before you back out of you're the like, driveway. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> oh, my gosh. There's a monkey. There's a kid hanging off the side yeah. of our car. All right. You can do something similar, you say, with a rear view mirror? Yeah. So same kind of a deal. You get in the driver's seat. And I had my son get in the back seat and be like he would be in, in the car. <laughs> Take a picture with my phone and then same kind of a deal where I put it in the in shot to get the background removed. Yeah. And the whole reason I'm removing the background is honestly just to save computer color ink. Oh, sure. I don't want to have to waste that if I'm just going to cut it out anyway. And oh, then good trick. Stick it up on the mirror. Yeah, save the ink. Yeah. So one second the child is buckled in the car seat, the next second they're waving to dad from the very back yeah. of the car. <laughs> All right, and then we'll end with, you know, where pranks sometimes start, that's the toilet seat. Oh yes, this is also a big hit in my house. So I had my son make a stinky face, or you could even do like surprise or any kind of face you want to uh -huh. uh, greet your toilet guests with. And then your toilet guests. I removed the background, taped it to the inside of the toilet lid, Thirsty, and then close the lid so when your next guest comes to use the bathroom, they are <laughs> they are greeted with a stinky five-year-old. <laughs> Is this what we call potty humor? Oh yes, potty humor. Always a winner. All right, small tricks, small things you can do to adjust the everyday framed photos hanging around your house for tomorrow's big April Fools. I think it's a way to show the kids that hey, mom has a sense of humor. Yeah, I can fun. be the fun mom, and it's harmless. No one's getting hurt. No one's getting hurt. All right, on a more serious note, slightly more serious, I should say. <laughs> not too serious, but you're a family photographer that takes classy photos yes. as well. How can we connect with you? You can find me on my website at WhitneyBethPhotography.com and then I'm on Instagram, Facebook, and Pinterest as Whitney Beth Photography. All right, Whitney Beth, thank you so much. Thank Happy, you. I'm, I hope you enjoy your favorite holiday. Thank you, Happy I will. April Fool's Day to come. <laughs>